Okay, so I don't know how many people saw this. Jayapal says GOP lawmakers' behavior towards CBC chair was assault. I'll let you all decide. So Representative Pramila Jayapal accused Representative Hal Rogers of assaulting her colleague, Representative Joyce Beatty, who shared a public account of a tense interaction that occurred while the two were boarding a subway car on Capitol Hill's internal system this week. In an interview with CNN on Wednesday, Jayapal, the chairwoman of the Congressional Progressive Caucus, told the network that what Waters did was absolutely considered assault in her view, indicating that she took issue with both what he did and what he said. Beatty, who chairs the Congressional uh, Black Caucus, said she had politely asked Rogers to wear a mask. So you love how... Every confrontation on Capitol Hill always starts with the recommendation to wear a mask. And then immediately you see the uh, screeching by these fucking mouth-breathing, pant-shitting Republicans who just can't be bothered to do the bare minimum to protect people around them during a global pandemic. So she said that she asked Rogers to put on a mask as the two boarded the train on Tuesday on the way to the House vote. Uh, then she said things got heated. I mean, of course... Uh, I mean, if I saw Marjorie Green and she was getting on a bus with me or some shit and she wasn't wearing a mask and I wanted her to, I probably just wouldn't even ask because she'd fucking, I don't know, pull a Mike Tyson and bite my ear or some shit. She's crazy. These fucking Republicans are feral. Okay, I don't trust them. They're psychopaths. So I'd rather just have them fucking breathe on me than con confront them in any way, shape or form because they're just so unhinged. You don't know how they're going to act. They're so unpredictable. So, uh. He then poked my back, demanding I get on the train. Uh, Beatty wrote on Twitter, When I asked him to not touch me, he responded, Kiss my ass. Folks, these are grown adults we're talking about here. <laughs> I'm pulling up the definition of assault to make a physical attack on, but really anything physical I feel like can constitute assault, unwanted touching, right? The definition of assault varies by jurisdiction, but is generally defined as intentionally putting another person in reasonable apprehension of an imminent harmful or offensive uh, contact. So, I mean, it, it, I guess it, this is up to interpretation, right? But if you're poking someone's back in an intimidating manner after they confronted you about wearing a mask, and then... When they say don't touch me, you say kiss my ass. I mean, <laughs> these are babies. We are talking about fucking babies. Okay, so it seems like the consensus is it's not assault. Um, but it is funny. I think that we can agree with that, right? Maybe it doesn't uh, meet the definition of assault. But the behavior here is truly childish. Did he jab her hard enough to bruise her? I'm assuming not, right? Like, um... It... If he's, like, really, like, hey, move, <laughs> then, you know, certainly, okay, that's that's assault. But he was definitely being childish. That was absolutely assault in my book to poke somebody and push them on the train and say what Rep. Hal Rogers said. Okay, saying kiss my ass is not assault. This is where the lack of civility has come into the, to the United States of Congress. Okay, so it's funny. Rogers apologized to Beatty. Uh, Jayapal remarked, I'm letting Congresswoman Beatty decide... Uh, what to do in this situation. She's accepting his public apology, and that's what we need to do in this case. Um, so I don't know. Um, this is one thing that uh, I, I was wondering. BD decide what to do. Um, so uh, does Jayapal think that perhaps pressing charges would be acceptable? I don't know. Yeah, I don't like civility politics too, and when um, Jayapal says this, it does make me, um, like, shudder. But really, I mean, what makes me angry is when I hear civility, politics, and, and, you know, the need for decorum coming from Republicans when they're the ones who are the least civilized, right? They're the most hypocritical here. We have Republicans basically, like, spitting on people in Congress and, like, shitting their pants. And they're like, we need to be civilized when they when they talk about the left. And it's like, go fuck yourself. What are you talking about? You're the ones who are uncivil. You're freaking out and screeching over somebody asking you to put on a mask and you're saying, kiss my ass. Like, can you just imagine? Well, who let me let me find Hal Rogers. I just want to visualize him saying, kiss my ass. Wait, is there actual there is a video? <gasps> Democrat Joyce Beatty says that Real quick, before you watch the video, we have to determine was this assault worse than the assault that representative maxine waters did to michael tracy 
Because does anyone remember when um, Maxine Waters murdered Michael Tracy? She went, his hand was like this and she went like this. And then he said that she pushed him and he died afterwards. It was so tragic. So is this assault worse? Do you think- Look at Hal Rogers poked her in the back and told her, quote, kiss my ass after she asked him to wear a mask before boarding the U.S. Capitol subway system. Does it not? He, look, he looks like somebody who would say that. I'm a member of Congress like you, and I'm a woman. You will not do that. I will bring you up and you will ask me to let you do that. I don't even know this what's is happening. the way Beatty described what happened. She wrote to... What? Okay, I can't even tell what's happening. Let's watch it again. I'm a member of Congress like you, and I'm a woman. You will not do I will bring you up before that. I don't... This. Okay, I don't know. The way Beatty described what happened, she wrote, Today, while heading to the House floor for votes, I respectfully asked my colleague, Representative Hal Rogers, to put on a mask while boarding the train. He then poked my back, demanding I get on the train. When I asked him not to touch me, he responded, Kiss my ass. This is the kind of disrespect <laughs> we've been fighting for years and indicative of the larger issue we have They're with so GOP stupid. members flaunting health and safety mandates designed to keep us and our staff safe. Joining us now is Joyce Beatty, Democratic Congresswoman from Ohio. So I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm sure she'll explain it, but she's like, um, could you put on a fucking mask, please? And then he like gave her a dirty look. She turned around. He poked her in the back. <laughs> He's like, go. And then she, t she turned around. She's like, don't do that. And he's like, kiss my ass. Like, I'm just trying to visualize this because that video gave us nothing. And it's just making me laugh. I went chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. Chairwoman, thank you so much for being with us. What did that feel like in the moment? Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me on this morning. You know, it was insulting. Um, it angered me that he would have the nerve to poke me in my back. That was bad enough. And when I asked him not to touch me after asking him politely to put his mask on, he then uh, told me to kiss his um, ass. And, and with that, I <laughs> I, I've got to say, listen, I, I do think that it probably doesn't rise to um, assault. I mean, if it is the case that he's really aggressively poking her. Sure, you could say that's assault. Um, but what was I going to say? I was going to make such a good point. You're all so unlucky right now. What was I going to say? God damn it. I don't remember what I was. Okay, let's, let's continue watching it. Fuck. Tim, I would not be disrespected that I was a colleague of his and she I got, was a black woman. She got mortally pressure pointed in the back. <laughs> he poked a hole right through her body. <laughs> his hand went right through. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> and I wasn't going to be bullied by him. I actually told him he picked the wrong woman today because I was not going to be bullied, standing up for something that I thought was right because there was a mandated sign on the train that tells you if you ride, you have to put your mask on. I don't know if we'll agree on whether it was or wasn't assault, but definitely Keep your fucking hands to yourself. I think that everyone can agree with that. So it's definitely, at a minimum, not cool that he poked her in the back. But his childish response, I cannot get over his childish response. This is a member of Congress. For some 900,000 people who have died because of COVID. So I was in my place. <laughs> Unwanted contact isn't good. But if there's one rule in life, never go full Michael Tracy. Exactly. Exactly. I think I kind of feel like Jayapal is going in the Tracy direction, whereas Beatty is probably more grounded in reality. She's of the mindset, seemingly, that 
don't fucking touch me. And, and I would agree with that, right? If somebody poked my back, I would be fucking furious. So she is justified to be angry. I mean, if she decked him after poking her in the back, I, I feel like she, she would have been justified. But I don't know if, like, legally speaking, she could say, oh, well, he assaulted me with unwanted touching, so I punched him in the face. I don't know. Deck him in Minecraft, of course. Thank you, gamer, of course. Or Roblox. And I have no tolerance for bullying. And I also believe in civility. And that's why I think it's important for me to express that this is not acceptable. So he did apologize. He wrote uh, a statement that said, this afternoon I met with Congresswoman Beatty to personally apologize. My words were not acceptable. And I express, expressed my regret to her first and foremost. Can you tell us what happened in that meeting? Well, yes, what, what happened was uh, I had gone to our leadership. I had also gone to the sergeant at arms. Yeah, whenever they say I'm for civility, that honestly triggers me, irrationally so perhaps, but don't don't endorse civility ever because it's, it's just always used against the left. I mean, I don't know if she's a leftist. I don't really know anything about her politics, to be clear. Um, but like, don't shit your pants in public, right? Be an adult. But the civility politics is so insufferable to me. And I said, I'm demanding uh, an apology. And so he did not come forth at first. And our leadership, uh, leader Steny Hoyer, went over and Wait, talked she endorsed with Chantel Brown? I have to side with Representative Hal Rogers here. You, you did this to yourself. You did this to yourself, Representative Beatty. Okay? How dare you ask him to put on a mask after you endorse Chantel Brown? She deserves the, the poke in the back now, okay? In Roblox. Is that is that necessary? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If we say poke in the back, do we have to add the caveat in Roblox? I'm not sure. And so when he came to the floor to apologize, mind you, without a mask on, oh, hang on. Back. And it's Representative re Beatty. Really? You think he's going to wear a mask? Really? Of course he's not going to wear a mask. She, You know what she should have done when he approached her to apologize? She should have put her head above, you know, eh, will you put on a mask? And then she could have restarted the entire confrontation again. And this time he would have, like, spit on her and then shit his pants and just start molding her. I'm mad. <laughs> just, like, foaming at the mouth. These Republicans are so goddamn feral out to touch my arm i told him don't touch me and i moved back wait wait, wait. because he didn't have guys. the conversation oh okay <laughs> as i i need to stop pausing it because she, she's already like ahead of me so as i'm talking about reigniting the confrontation it did happen apparently he tried to touch her mind you without a mask on uh, <laughs> i stepped back and as he reached out to touch my arm i told him don't touch me and i moved back because he didn't have a mask on. <laughs> and so with that, he mumbled some words and I told leadership it wasn't acceptable. What I wanted a public apology. And as Speaker <laughs> Pelosi said, if you I... insult a high profile, you have to do a high profile apology. So I demanded a public apology. And that is when he publicly apologized. And I, I have cannot... accepted his public apology. apology and I'm moving on, but I won't stop standing up for what I believe in. And if you ride the train, then the message is you put a mask on or you walk. How amazing is that? They have this huge confrontation and then he goes to apologize. And then he's still an asshole. What the fuck is wrong with the Republicans? They are psychos. I, I got to I got to listen to her explain that again. And so when he came to the floor to apologize, mind you, without a mask on, I, just... uh, I stepped back. And as he reached out to touch my arm, I told him, don't touch me. And I moved back because he didn't have a mask on. <laughs> and so with that. He... OK, somebody has to talk to Representative Hal Rogers about personal space. Stop touching people. It doesn't matter if you're touching them nicely or aggressively. Just keep your disgusting, stinky hands to yourself. Look at this. Look at this. This is definitely somebody who does not wash his hands. We can actually examine his hands. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Definitely unclean hands. Unclean. Gross. Stinky. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, you can just tell. Disgusting hands. I don't blame her. He mumbled some words, and I told leadership it wasn't acceptable. I wanted a public po apology. And as Speaker Pelosi said, if you insult a high profile, you have to do a high profile apology. So why, do you, many... why do you have to invoke Speaker Pelosi? Well, Speaker Pelosi, uh uh, Speaker Pelosi said that if you do a high profile bad thing, you have to do a high profile. Apology. Who cares what Nancy Pelosi says? Oh my God, Democrats are so insufferable, even when I agree with her. And I would probably do the same thing, react in the same way if somebody approached me without a mask. Like they still find some way to make it insufferable. In fact, now that she brings this up, I, so actually, uh, fucking when was this? This was after the first wave of vaccinations when I was able to get uh, vaccinated. And uh, I was really a lot more confident to go out in public. And this dude came up to me in the store and he was really nice. He's like, yo, I need to see your tattoos. They look really cool. Um, and, you know, of course, I, I, I agree. They're, they're dope as fuck. So um, I, I'm like thinking he's going to examine it from a distance. And he is like really close to me. He gets super close to me to look at my tattoos. And he's not reading the social cues very well because as he's leaning in, I'm going like this because you don't have a mask on and I do. And this is a pandemic. And even if I'm vaccinated, I mean, we're all a little bit traumatized after dealing with COVID-19. So give me some space. And um, it's uncomfortable. So I know what she's dealing with. Now, uh, that story of me in the store ended in a very awkward way because, you know, we, we were having a little bit of a conversation for like 30 seconds. And, you know, I was talking about my tattoos and he was showing me his tattoos and stuff. And then out of the blue, after like invading my personal space without a mask, he reaches out to shake my hand. And I'm like, what the fuck? I don't want to touch your disgusting hand. Now, I should not disclose this about myself, but ever since I was a child, I've had um, the same fear as Howie Mandel. I don't like to shake people's hands. I don't think that my fear of handshaking is as bad and severe as Howie Mandel's. But um, in church, for example, there'd be this little section where you would have to turn around and shake everyone's hands. And 12 year old me hated this. I would sink into my seat. I, I don't I don't like shaking people's hands. Because people are just disgusting. I'm sorry. Like, you're gross. You scratch your balls. You fucking piss. You probably take a shit. Wipe your ass. Don't wash your hands. I don't trust people. So, I like, don't touch me. Don't try to shake my hand. I'm sorry. We need to undo that social social thing. But either way, this person tried to shake my hand. And I straight up was like, I'm so sorry. I can't shake your hand. <laughs> That's, and then he's like, okay, I understand. He's actually really nice about it. But it's like, okay. That's two violations, motherfucker. You walk up to me without a mask, get all up in my shit, and then you fucking try to shake my hand. Um, no, no, I'm I'm already pissed off. I'm about to go Karen here. I'm about to go Karen. I'm about to get the fucking manager and tell you to kick this motherfucker out. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But um, long story short, I, I totally empathize with her, right? Especially during a pandemic. Like, personal space is so important. And this motherfucker, Representative Hal Rogers, is still trying to touch her. He just doesn't get it. Republicans are so stupid. Goddamn.